Okay, this is Dr. B. We're going to do the Lewis structure for CO2, carbon dioxide, on the periodic table. Carbon is in group 4, or 14 sometimes, and then oxygen is in group 6, or 16, but we have two of them. So let's multiply that together there. So we have 12 plus 4, 16 total valence electrons. Let's draw the structure. So carbon is the least electronegative. That means it's going to go at the center. So we'll put the carbon right here and then oxygens on either side of that. And so now we want to draw some chemical bonds and let's put pair of electrons between each of these. So now they're bonded. We've used four. And then let's complete the octets on the outer shell. So four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And that looks pretty good. Looks like it kind of works out the, the way we, we want it to. Um, let's check and see if we have octets. This oxygen here has 8. This oxygen here has 8. They both have octets. And the carbon only has four valence electrons. Doesn't have an octet. Well, what we can do is we can share electrons, these non-bonding electrons out here, between the atoms there. And now we have 2, 4, 6, 8. That oxygen's OK. And the carbon has 2, 4, 6. A little bit closer. Let's take some uh, electrons over here and share them on this side. So that oxygen has 8 still have 8 over here and now carbon in the center has 2, 4, 6, 8. So we've completed the octet and if you add them up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 we've used 16 valence electrons. That's all we had to start out with. Let's clean that up there. And if we wanted to write this as a structural formula we could also do that and that would look like this. And in this structural formula the two lines right here are the same as these two pairs of valence electrons. This is Dr. B and thank you for watching.